Um, I also like the... Um, I can't remember what they're called, but they're... Uh, like, they're basically just two pieces of sticks, and you just wail on people with them. I, it's The name's totally slipping my mind right now. Um, oh, like, Ponfuzz uh, or something. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, just, I just love that fact, because it's like, oh, I have two sticks, and I'm beating the crap out of these people. And this, somehow you're saving the world with two sticks. <laughs> two sticks, that's all it takes, yes. You know, I'm yeah. facing some alien monster from who knows where, and I'm beating him with sticks. This is yeah. a great game. Yeah, personally, I think the best weapon in the game, honestly, is uh, the dragon sword. So I guess it's the, the original sword you start off with, but like maxed out. Yeah. I think that's the best, most versatile weapon in the game, but the one I like the best is the dual swords, but I think the best and most practical Right? I'm getting really detailed here, right? <laughs> yeah. The most practical is the, uh, what are they called? The, um, the, the flails, I think they're called. And what yeah. happens is, I know that if you just keep hammering Y, what you do is you do these, like, cartwheels and stuff where you're kicking them and stuff. And then what you do is you kick them up into the air and you slice them up while they're in the air. And then everyone below you just kind of hanging out waiting for you to fall. And then you get done chopping them up, and then you drop them, and you just do the same thing over. And it's really easy to take care of a lot of uh, smaller bosses that you can, you know, kick up in the air. The bigger guys doesn't really work so much, but mm, I hate no. those. Oh, dude, right there! I hated those piranhas. Those like those piranhas. God, I don't. I don't even know what they are. They're just like see-through. Like yeah, they're see-through piranhas basically, and they just they just maul you. Like, yeah, you but they kind of just hang. They, they just hang out. And then they're just sort of, eh, oh, there you go, nice. <laughs> yeah. They kind of just hang out, and then they say, eh, we feel like butting you. And then once you break them off, they just kind of hang out for another couple seconds. Like, eh, you know, I'm here, whatever. Yeah. Whatever, you know, I'll come help. Oh, oh God, this is a <laughs> present. Who thought this was a great idea? They're like, Take out. Oh, I'll give them some cool stuff and some fish. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Honestly, I thought that was hilarious the first time I saw it. It was just enemies in a box, and I was just like, wow, this is the best present Ninja Gaiden can give me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always thought those, uh, I don't know what that zone you were at was called, but like those trial areas, I always thought those were kind of difficult. It yeah. It seemed like you handled that pretty well. Yeah. I know that... I've been practicing yeah. them a lot. Jeez. There you go. Yeah. But, yeah. but yeah, like, I know that, uh, I know that... They're really awesome because you can find a lot of good stuff that helps you out in the later levels. I think it's a lot more helpful in the uh, harder difficulties because I know you get more like max health and health. I, know, I can't even say that right, but health, <laughs> health, health. <laughs> health. <laughs> but yeah, you get more of those. And I know that also on top of that, um, I think you might be able to. Nah, you might be able to get a weapon, or I don't know. I don't know, but I know that there's a lot of benefits if you do them all, but I usually just skip them because it is pretty difficult sometimes. Um, the the benefit of finishing all the Test of Valors or, um, are at the near... I think it's, a, it's the third or second last chapter. You'll get a special item that basically just like defeats every other recovery item in the game. It's And it's just like the stupidest thing. It's like a rice ball, and that's it. And it, oh wait, wait, wait. Is, is it the uh, that scroll that makes you like regenerate and give every, get everything back? Like if you die, it activates. Is that what uh, you're talking about? No, no, no. That's um, I know. It's, yeah, that's a like a scroll that revives you. That's uh. That's something else, though. You're talking about something else. Yeah, like it's uh, okay. you literally have to 100 percent everything up to that point, and then you get something cool from the old man. He's like, here, have some rice, and you're like, thanks, guy. And it's and uh, what is it's, it? It's that random, exactly. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. He just comes out of nowhere. He's like, "Yeah, I know how to still fight, but you know, I didn't want to help you this whole time because I was taking a nap. So you know." Yeah, that's the thing. It's like you are deep in the heart of the enemy's territory, right? You're just about to like go into the depths of hell, and he just shows up. He's like, "Oh yeah, by the way, um, even though I'm old, I basically just walked in here without a problem." Uh, here you go, and I'm gonna leave now. So good luck, uh, good luck killing everything else, cause uh, you know, I could help you, but I'm not going to. Yeah, you know, just kind of like waving at everyone when you're on the train leaving, and just watching everyone. Hey, have fun. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right. Well. Exactly. 
now we get to see the, I don't know, the weirdest, like, rave party I've ever seen. It's just a bunch oh, of... yeah, party time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Throw your hands in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> All right, party. Woo. <laughs> Look, they got, got the drums. drums going. Yeah, oh man, this is looks like a fun time. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh, look, they have punch. They have punch in the middle. That's good. And look, they have entertainment. This, this there you is go. Part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one creepy guy. You know that. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah, this all is kind of weird. I mean, like they got that stone and they're putting in blood. And this guy's just kind of like creeping, and she's like. Dance around practically naked. Like, what's going on? Like, what exactly is going on here? Yeah, it's. I don't know. They're doing some weird ritual. Ritual where they're like, "Hey, um, piece of stone, will you bring back our master?" And then he's like, "Eh, maybe if I feel like it." <laughs> I wonder how that conversation went down. He's all like, "Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna revive like this demon thing that we've been kind of working for, but uh." But chick, you gotta be basically naked for this to work, okay? Okay. I just want to let you know this is purely professional, okay? This is this all this has to do is it's part of the ritual, okay? Don't don't fight, don't fight. Just just listen to me. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah. Just do it. It's like what is going on? <laughs> but, but, hey, just don't 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 worry about it, okay? Everything will be fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not complaining. I mean, I'm I'm okay with that. Whatever. It's, it's fine, but it's it, it's weirder in when we actually fight her. She's just like chilling out and she's like swimming through the blood and she's like, come join me in the pool. And you're like, oh, that's not a pool. That's not <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, well, you know, I don't really think you're dating material, but we could be friends if you yeah, want. I don't know, you don't have, I don't know, you're not boobs, so you're not the right kind of girl. You know boobs, girl with blonde hair, you know, boobs. You know. it's kinda, Wait, so is that your is that your kind of chick like a yeah. blonde with booze? That's the, that's the nickname I gave to that chick. Like the first time I started playing it, I was just like, you know what? Oh, you called her boobs? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, like, you the know, chick the with the boob physics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Like, like she'd be standing still, and her boobs are still like moving. Chick yeah, and you're just kind of like, <laughs> oh, you're like, <laughs> interesting. The boob physics are very well calculated out in this game. It is yeah. true. This is crazy. Um, I remember I was checking up on one of your vids. I can't believe I just said vids. That sounds really lame. Uh, one of your videos, and I saw you facing this guy, and you know, just using a bunch of arrows against him. And honestly, I like, I don't know. I I didn't know if you had this yet, but it's probably something you maybe caught up got. But um, if you use this nimpo on him, it it just drains him of his life. Look 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 at that. Just. Just killed him, dude. Yeah, like this, this dude. Thing revelation, because like honestly, I would try to use that, and and nothing happened. And I was like, okay, this is stupid. So I'd always use the fire one. Yeah. And the way I would beat that is kind of right where you are, right there. You can kind of hang out behind there, and he'll shoot fireballs, but he'll keep yeah. missing. So you can just keep shooting him from that area over there. But that, what you just did right there, um, shortcut. Very nice to know. I, I wish I would have known that because that would have saved me about five minutes of my life. But whatever, <laughs> that's, that's good though. Yeah, like there's there's a bunch of little shortcuts you can learn about this game. But um, yeah, like, yeah. And here come your best oh, friends God. ever. The, the stare of lag, as referred to many many of person. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm just wondering if I should actually like fight through these guys so that the lag isn't that bad or just like run to the top and just have them all behind me I, you know I think I'm just gonna run all the way up and see how many of them actually follow go for it ah, get away I mean how demoralizing is that gotta be like if you go up this hill and you know everyone's like okay when we open this door we're gonna run down these stairs and we're gonna kill that ninja even though he's killed literally thousands before us yeah. And you're like, okay, don't, but we got 100 to 1, we can do this. And, like, somewhere around halfway, you got to be thinking, I don't think I'm going to be, like, surviving this, right? After about 50 people down, and he's still going, this Ryu dude's still going, yeah. you got to be like, um, I think I'm going to resign my position as uh, evil army ninja guy. <laughs> like, I feel like you'd want to, like, just peace out after that. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. And I, I, I think it's, I don't know. Probably really cruel to laugh at the henchmen, but they're all really not that intelligent. They're pretty dumb. They come running at you. They make a lot of noise, and they're like waving their arms, 
and they're basically asking to be hit and, you know, lose their arms Perfect. and legs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, that's funny. Uh, well, it seems like we made it to the temple. The temple. Um, if you're still good, I think, do you want to end around after defeating the boss, if you're okay with that? Does that sound yeah, good? sure, let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, ooh, look, they were nice enough to give us some health and some old man who who makes the funniest sound just when you open the shop. He's like, ooh! Look at yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I'm like, what? What is that noise? <laughs> it's crazy. I know, I think that old man is just a little too creepy for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, like, waiting for you. Yeah, th this dragon thing, this... This is like green, this like upgrade of these purple guys. If you if you're playing through the hardest, dif well not the the second hardest difficulty, the warrior difficulty, one above this. Instead of seeing these purple guys everywhere, you'll see the giant like green dragon everywhere. And oh yeah, like oh, early yeah. on in the game when you first see him and you have weapons that kind of you know don't really do much, this guy will destroy you. Like he. He's like a mini boss to me every time I face him on that difficulty. Yeah, yeah, dude. I remember, yeah, like you were saying, I remember playing on, I think it was Warrior, and that guy came out, and then, I mean, it's just that guy, and then, like, Ninja Dogs, which always, always destroy me. Like, it is stupid difficult. And it's almost, it, it's at the point, uh, in Warrior, it, it gets to a point where it's, like, seriously unfair. And you're asking yourself, like, who really would do this? And you find yourself still playing it. Uh, uh, as crazy as that is. But, uh, yeah, it is, it is insane. <clears throat> I know, it's just crazy. And, oh, it looks like we're about to meet the demonic butterfly, as I like to call her. Because, honestly, she, you, like, everyone else has this badass creature form, except for this chick, Elizabeth. She is, she turns into a butterfly. And you're like, oh, that's uh, pretty girly. And... Yeah, and then she's like, hey, what's up? I've been waiting for you. Everyone's <laughs> gone, but uh, I'm here. What's you know, up? And it's like, uh, I have a really weird feeling right now, because I feel like you're about to kill me. But and, like, she's, like, naked in blood. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah I mean, what about STDs, dude? Like, what about, I mean, come on. She is being very unsafe right now, I'm just saying. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think she's worrying about that right now. I don't think that's her highest problem right now. Other yeah, than whose her... blood is that, really? Let's see. Oh, look, she doesn't have a midsection. She just decided, hey, let's not have a midsection. And clearly that was the best plan. Um, okay, so this boss, she's, I don't know, she's really annoying. You gotta dodge her a lot when she starts getting up in the air, because she decides to do this really dumb charge move. And if she catches you, you're gonna lose, like, half your health. And that's not fun. That that move right there, where she charges, and then she's just gonna toss you around. Yeah, so, yeah. Geez, I um, just remember there's a lot of dodging, and when you do have a chance of hitting her, what you gotta do is I remember before you finish up your combo, you gotta dodge out of the way because she will block and counter it, and just end your life pretty much instantly. Ah, this uh oh yeah ooh, ah, yeah, yeah see that's ooh. what I mean like she'll just grab you and throw you and it's just bad. <laughs> yeah, it is It is pretty intense. The other thing I don't really dig about this game, actually, is uh, the camera and how insane it can get sometimes. Like, sometimes it rotates in a way where you really cannot uh, see what you're doing. And uh, sometimes, like, a pillar will get in your way, but, uh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Just... Just sometimes the camera doesn't want to cooperate, and it, it's nice that you can change it, but it's like, it doesn't really do anything, like, I'm moving the stick around a lot, and it's like, yeah, it just doesn't do anything, it's it's almost like a fixed camera, but it's, I don't know, it just doesn't work for you at all. Yeah, yeah. I remember uh, last time I was facing oh, nice. this, this girl, I I forget what weapon I was using, but I took her down in 10 seconds, and I was amazed. What? Yeah, like, I, I don't even remember how it was. I have it on video, because I used to do uh, old walkthroughs oh, yes. on this channel, and uh, I used to, whoa, that's, yeah. That's time. very convenient. Yeah, it's, oh, 
And look, she's going down a whirlpool. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder who pulled the, tr uh, the flush on that. <laughs> oh, she's it over. Waving goodbye, you know. Bye. Have fun downstairs. It's good hanging out. Oh, and right here, it's like, oh my god, are you serious? We gotta fight you now? And then he says... No, I'm a good nin like like the thing I like about this guy is that he's got a little bit of uh, honor. You know, he's like, no, 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 I'm gonna wait until you're fully strong, and when you get up to the mountain, that's what he's saying right now, something along those lines. And then uh, he's like, hey, you know, we'll fight later. And he tells you actually where to go. So he's like, hey, nice, thanks, guy. I know we're enemies, but uh, thanks. Yeah, he's like that uh, lunch bully. He's like, hey, be here at this time to get your butt kicked. All right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Flagpole, four o'clock. Really? There. Really, boobs? Now you come? Like, where were you? Like, ten minutes ago. <laughs> just, and she asked, hey, are you okay? It's like, look, I just killed everybody. <laughs> come on. Did you not just see the trail that I left behind me of people dead? God. Yeah. Yeah. All those sword wounds everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, sad face. All right. Nice. Gave the cold shoulder, and uh, I think that's that's chapter ten, everybody. You know, good job. Nice. 140 kills. Good job to you, sir. <laughs> Thank you for being here, man. It's been a great pleasure. Here for here for support. Uh, yeah, oh, totally. Yeah. Master Ninja. I I never got this ranking system. Honestly, I didn't check. If it's uh, anything. it's whatever. Yeah, it's just kind of whatever. All right, well. Uh, I think that's uh, about a good place to stop it. You know, right before we descend. Or not descend. Ascend. Wow. Okay. I'm, words. Words aren't going well for me. Uh, we're going to ascend Mount Fuji <laughs> and, you know, get to the top. And we're going to have a beach party and everything's going to be great. All right. We're going to do that in the next part. All right. Well, um, again, I'm going to thank my guest, uh, RMD Films. Or Vids. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> Oh my! Wow, I'm sorry for messing up. No, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, my name is Riley Michelson, and uh, the channel that I'm from is uh, the RM Vids, and uh, that's just cool. I I did a let's play of this before, and that's why I'm here because uh, it's fun. But uh, yeah, good stuff. Um, but yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, if you ever want to chat again, let me know. Yeah, for sure, man. We definitely have to do this again. You know. Again, pleasure having you. And uh, thank you. Yeah, uh, his channel is in the description. If you want to, definitely, definitely check him out. He's doing some. Uh, what are you doing right now? Gears, gears, ram. Uh, I was doing ram shadow because you know it's kind of late. But the big thing I'm doing right now is uh, Skyrim, and I run around playing unarmed. Uh, and it's a lot. It's a lot of fun because you basically just punch out everybody. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun, and I've been I've been loving it so far. That just sounds insane, yeah. But definitely go check him out, and you know, thank you. Great time. All right. Well, yep. All right. I think that's it for this episode. We're gonna see you in the next part. Have a great day, everybody. Later.